here you can see Bluetooth on off switch has come successfully. You can turn on and off Bluetooth from here. Now if you want to connect Bluetooth device to it, suppose headphone, all you want to do is you want to click on it Bluetooth or other device, then from here click on Bluetooth. Also turn on your Bluetooth headphone so your PC or laptop could detect it. Now click on your device and yup, the headphone is connected successfully. Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. If your Bluetooth switch on off option is missing, then this video is for you. Because in this video I am going to tell you how to bring missing Bluetooth on off switch option. So without wasting time, let's get started. In the first method you want to go to search box and type run. Then type services.msc. Then press OK. Here, look for Bluetooth support service. Double click on it. From status type, select automatic. And start it from here. Then press OK. After that, restart your PC. Then check whether your Bluetooth switch option has come or not. In the second method, right click on this PC, click on manage, then click on device manager, then click on Bluetooth dropdown, then right click on the second option. Again here click on the second option, then click on let me pick, then click on generic Bluetooth adapter, click on next. Click on close. Again click on second option. Then click here. Click on let me pick. This time select second option. Click on next. And close. Repeat the process for the remaining three options as well. Then restart your PC. After that, check whether your Bluetooth on off option has come or not. In third method, right click on this PC. Then click on manage. Then click on device manager. Then click on Bluetooth drop down. And right click on first option. Then click on disable and click on yes. Now again right click on it and enable it again. In the fourth method go to this PC. Then click on local disk C. Click on windows and look for system 32. Double click on it and here in search box type FSQUIRT then press enter. From here right click on Bluetooth icon and from here send it to desktop. Now double click on it. From here you can send or receive files. In the fifth method, right click on this PC, then click on manage, then click on device manager, then click here, click on action, then click on add legacy hardware, then click on next, select the second option. Then next. Select network adapters. Then press next. Then from here select Microsoft. And click on Bluetooth device RFC or MM protocol TDI. 
then click on next again next then finish method number six is the most powerful method in this method go to your browser and in search box type bluetooth driver for windows 10 or bluetooth driver for windows 11 then click on first official link link is also given in the description below then from here click on download once it is downloaded then click on open then click on next then next and check the box then click on next then select the complete option to install complete brief package for yourself then click on install then click on finish after that restart your pc which is very important Hopefully this method will work for you. If previous method did not work for you, then there could be a reason that your PC or laptop does not have built-in Bluetooth adapter. So all you want to do is you want to buy this Bluetooth dongle or Bluetooth adapter. And plug in here. Once you plug in, you will see this message, starting Bluetooth device. From here you can also see Bluetooth icon. Now you want to go to Windows search box and type Bluetooth and other device settings. Here it is. Click on it. You can turn on and off Bluetooth from here. Now if you want to connect Bluetooth device to it, suppose headphone, all you want to do is you want to click on it Bluetooth or other device. Then from here click on Bluetooth. Also turn on your Bluetooth headphone so your PC or laptop could detect it. Now click on your device. And yup, the headphone is connected successfully. Now click on done. Here you can see my headphone has connected to my PC successfully. And I can enjoy audio and mic through my Bluetooth headphone. Hopefully this will have worked for you. Also, let me know in the comment section below which method worked for you. If you still have any question, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, smash a thumbs up button and do not forget to subscribe with pressing bell icon and sharing with your friends.